a little sandbox in there. Holy crap. <laughs> That's insane. I <laughs> kept it cool. <laughs> Yeah. What's up everybody, Justin Fio back with another video. Today we're back at Retro Customs. As you guys could see, we're gonna be getting a little update on the Whistle and Diesel rebuild. Hope to have the cab come up today. And like I said, I'm gonna be giving you guys updates. The truck will be done before Daytona and we got tons of stuff to do. So the moment you all been waiting for is here. We hope to get into the shop, see what we got going on today. Also, new hats just dropped on the website, all embroidered Richardson hats. Awesome quality. If you guys could pick one up, support the channel. I'd appreciate it. JustinFeo.com. Let's get right into the video. It's on camera. Are you nervous, Mike? I'm Mike! <laughs> you're inner look. Yeah, don't, don't scratch it. <laughs> hey, here we go. That's a lot of stretch, huh? Keep that fire. <laughs> oh yeah, put it that work with the blower. Holy. Easy money. What's going on guys? So we finally got the wheels back from Blast Coatings. Big shout out to them. We're doing an amazing job on the two-tone work of these American Force 2816s. We just got them mounted up to the 14928 TL35 BKT tractor tires. Which are actually, you said what, around 55 inch? About 55 inches tall. Crazy. Yep. So we're about to get the uh, cab in the air, get the rolling chassis out from underneath it, get the motor and transmission ripped out. We're obviously gonna go through the entire thing, break everything down, change some seals out. And, uh, so the moment you guys have been waiting to see with the cab coming off and a lot of real deal work happening is yep. going to be happening today. Yep. So we got our uh, one off rough country lift over here covered up. <laughs> we'll uh, wait to expose that until the final reveal. But everything else we're going to keep on video and uh, keep it rolling. in the shop.
engine all out, as you guys can see over here, and you said you're probably gonna run through the whole engine, correct? Yeah, we're gonna go through everything, take everything apart, check the seals. It's been overheated multiple times, so we're gonna make sure everything is uh, good to go internally before we reassemble everything. We got a bill transmission coming from Mike at No Limit, some compounds coming in, we got a new CP4, we have uh, fast fuel systems, me and Justin reached out to fast and they're sending us a fast 240 gun per minute pump. Obviously we still have the dual fueler still in the front, we got 100 over injectors coming for it, so it's going uh, it's gonna, to it's gonna have some power behind it once it's all back together to spin those uh, big tires. So I know a lot of you guys were asking, you know, what's going on with the engine and is it going to be looked over, so like you said we got tons of goodies coming and everything's going to be put back together. and look through so yeah. it should be ready to go once we get it back yeah it's only got seven thousand miles on it so it's had some hard seven thousand miles but it was running great before we took it apart so we're still going to go through it and make sure everything is a hundred percent before it goes back in the truck hell yeah a little sandbox in there holy crap <laughs> that's insane kept it cool sand everywhere I kept it cool. Yeah, keep swinging it over this way. Look at the flex back there. There we go, that E level works again. Got a nice little souvenir from the OG any level right here. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, peace.